Awesome. Ollie's good. My Ollie's pretty good. Uh, he's a little bit cranky this morning because we've been having some rain. And he doesn't really do well with... with rain. Um... I'm missing the restaurant. I'm missing the last person. I'm just not sure where they are. <laughs> person. They might be able to point us in the right direction. Or it might just be over there. I feel like I haven't really been over there yet. Oh, wait a minute. This looks probable. This is the quietest spot on the island. That's cute. Obviously, Ollie too sometimes do not enjoy the rain. Always love the sun. Yeah. He just, because of his bum leg, gets very cranky. This way to the amphitheater, celebrate your next event on our scenic overlook. Notice all performances must now be approved by a park authority. You you know that means. Oh, why is everything flowy in here? You know that means we're gonna have to uh put on a performance of some kind. I like how the paper star actually stays. That's kind of cool. Uh, let's see what's up here. Oh, there's a... Okay, it's just a warning. There's a hole. Rock smasher strike! <laughs> at this because I'm sure I'm gonna need it. I see a guy over there. I'm still a little surprised I haven't seen the the friend again. Oh, what's up? Good, they're gone. Well, I got rid of them. Yeah, thanks. Hey, why don't you try again? Practice makes perfect after all. Huh? You think so? After such a failure? Ah, oh, come on. I believe in you. Just give it another shot. I think I should have talked to him first. It is available on the Switch, yeah. I... maybe I... okay, I can do it this time. I know I can. Here I go. Huh. Turned out exactly the same! Ugh. Why do I even bother? Just get rid of them. Well, but, uh, please? Well, Alright, if you say so. Ugh. Yeah, I don't think there's a point. I give up. No, you can't give up. Oh, come on, it'll just end up the same as last time. You don't know that. Come on, one more try. Eh, I believe in you. Okay, okay, yes, I can do this this time. I know I can. Here I go. Oh, I did it again. Oh, well, I guess it's just not gonna happen. Just can't do anything right. Hmm. I don't know. I think they're pretty scary and monstrous. Monstrous? Scary? Gosh, I can't stand. Look at these scary monsters. Oh. Oh, I can maybe see what you mean. I can just barely... Maybe if I can summon up some courage, I could take them on, but it's so scary. No, you you can. I know you can do it. Please, destroy them. I believe in you. Gosh, I guess I'll have to do it then. Here I go. I guess he was trying to make scary monsters. You did it. You defeated them. Only with your help and encouragement. Well, thanks for everything, Traveler. There we go. This way to the amphitheater. Okay. So I was going the right way. Oh no, which ones are real? Goodness, you're here, hero. Some crafty monsters have hidden amidst my priceless heirlooms. I can't tell which is which. I only own three pots, but there are seven here. Oh. <laughs> if you can tell the difference, can you dispatch these monsters? And please don't break any real pots if you can help it. Got you. Oh. Cool. 
Okay, almost, almost. Oh, I think you defeated them. They're all here. My priceless heirlooms are perfectly intact. Thank you. Well, that's it for my quest. You win. I guess we don't need these pots anymore. Oh, all right. Do you want to smash them then? Yeah, watching you smashed up was awesome. It'll be an honor to have my priceless heirlooms smashed by the hero. Oh, and take this too for doing such a good job. See you at the playground. Yay! Smashing pots. Okay, anyway, there's all that. There's like so much to this game, chat. And I don't want to run out of time. So I'm going to start booking it towards where I hope the amphitheater is. So I think that's our next. Uh, like main quest dealio. Oh no, oh no. They're nearby, I can feel it. What's nearby? Enemies? No, pots, pots. I feel them looming above me. It's freaking me out. I'm also allergic to ceramic. Please destroy them all. I can't take it. I got you. I got you. Screw these pots. We don't need them. Go. Uh, do we got any more? Oh, there's one. There we go. Uh, there's another and another. Okay. Assuming there's more. This guy wouldn't want to meet with the pot kid who we were talking with earlier. There we go. That might have been all of them. Oh, no, never mind. <laughs> Damn, come on, you can do it. Yeah. Are are they gone? You did it? They're gone? Yep, all gone. No more pots. Oh, good. Um, yay, thanks, etc. Oh hi, I'm back. Yeah, just I was so unnerved that I never appreciated them. The craftsmanship, the artwork. Oh, uh, sorry? Maybe my greatest enemy was actually my greatest friend. I need to learn more about pots. Thank you. Without you, I would have stayed afraid. So, see you in town? Yes, see you there. Alrighty. Amphitheater, here we are. That guy has a fishbowl on his head. <laughs> and there was a bunch of slimes, but my favorite ones were squat flat like this. Sounds like fun, who else is playing? Only everyone on the island, it's gonna be great. Oh my gosh, it's Luke, I was just telling all my friends about your game. Oh, are you still playing? I thought maybe you gave up on helping me impress my sis. Yeah, she seems busy, but that shouldn't stop us from having our own fun. Oh, you're gonna love this. Remember when you said you wanted more drama? These guys are theater veterans, certified acting professionals. We came up with a bunch of great ideas. Dramada, what was your idea again? Okay, I'm hearing monsters, discovery, and epic adventure. So I think for act two, we go to the most epic place imaginable. Final Frontier, the world's beyond the stars, a space opera for the ages. What game did we play where we went to space at the end? Was that paparazzi? That was random. Um, I don't know about... I always want to do space. I thought we were doing a cow... or my cowpoke idea this time. Dingy saloons and duels at high noon. It's pretty epic. Ooh! Rainbow cam, thank you! <laughs> And shout out again to Andrew for helping me get Rainbow Cam working even when I'm green screened. Ugh, compared to an adventure that spans the galaxy? Hardly. I'll play cow folks, Velma, but only if your cattle can handle a vampire attack. A what attack? As my pleat. Is that a Twilight reference? I wasn't prepared. I know that there's a lot of references in this game. But that's a Twilight reference. 
heck. The wild bus appeal is it's gritty realism. You can't be a vampire. Fine, then I want to do space too. A vampire would never survive in space. There's nowhere to hide from the sun. Ugh. But there's a way we can make everyone's idea work. What do you think, Blanc? Uh, well... We're already doing a heroic fantasy thing, so everyone should just do that instead. No one gets left out because there's no space opera or western or vampire drama to begin with. You too? What kind of fancy game doesn't have vampires? None of you have any culture. <laughs> I've got a whole solar system of culture and I won't play without them. Hang on guys, if we just talk this out a little more I know we can make everyone happy. Sorry Avery, this is starting to sound like a lot of rules and cowgirls don't play by the rules. I don't know about y'all, but I'm gonna go herd some cattle and that's gonna be epic. Velma, wait! Great, now I have to go recruit a new engineer. Anyone who doesn't turn to dust in the sun is welcome to join me. Rude! <laughs> we can at least work vampires in, right, Lunk? I mean, maybe we could. Oh, it's fine, Avery. I need to go brood in the shade anyway. <laughs> Here's hoping you mortals come to your senses about the greatness. The greatest of all monsters. Jeez, that was a lot more drama than I was ready for. Well, you win some and lose some, right, buddy? Ah, uh, don't worry. This kind of thing happens all the time. It does? That sounds exhausting. It is! It also means I know exactly what to do. Those guys are all so creative, they just need a place where they can all be creative together. Hmm, I'm contrary an idea with my magical fantasy powers. Are you sure we can't just cut our losses and head for the playground? In the middle of a friendship emergency? Sorry, Luke. No can do. Just think of the scope they all bring to the fantasy. Plenty of heroes get attacked by aliens or negotiate or negotiate with the undead. Or perform laborious farming and landscaping chores for fun. Are you shouting out my Stardew? And my farming sims? And my Animal Crossing? <laughs> this game is like reference central. Oh, I guess if it'll get you to come with me, we can try some of that stuff. Yay! Okay, buddy. Oh, sorry. I don't know where I got Buddy from. Okay, okay, I have the perfect plan, but I need some time to put it together. Can you try to convince everyone to come back here and check it out? You're great at that. Sure. Okay, I'll do my best. Spectacular. Friendship emergency start. Okay. I wonder how far off everyone went. Hopefully not too far. I can't believe there's a Twilight reference in this game. <laughs> was not expecting it. But speaking of watching things, uh, yesterday Mike and I started watching, uh, Trigun Stampede. It's relatively new. I don't know if anyone in here has, has seen it yet, but I've enjoyed the first little bit I've watched of it. I like the animation. <laughs> oh, okay. There's one person. Oh, I can't hit these. Okay. Dennis, stay away from that cactus. You'll hurt yourself. Buck, cattle don't pick their nose. Oh, it's you. Sorry. You kind of caught me in the middle of something. Is this how playing cow folks usually goes? Yeah, I mean, no. Well, ugh. we were crossing the peaceful prairie, but Xander shouted snake and they all went berserk. Normally, I just let them tire themselves out, but they're real wound up this time. Sounds like you could use a hand there, partner. Really? You want to round them up? You betcha. I'll, uh, lasso up those cattles right quick. But, you know, in a nice way. Normally I wouldn't ask for help from a stranger, but I guess you're a friend of Avery's. Alright, Link, have a go at it. If you manage to round up these ragamuffins, I'd be mighty grateful. Calm down the cow kids. Ice cream, ice cream, ice cream! I want two cones, five cones, a hundred cones! Whoa, that was something shiny over by your sister! Shiny! I want shiny. What is it? What is it? What is it? <laughs> Me when it comes to shiny Pokemon. Exercise is very important. I gotta get more exercise. Okay, last one to race back to your sister loses. Ready? One, two, three, go. Oh, go, 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 go. <laughs> and... Where'd that last one go? I just saw him. Oh. No, that's not. That's me. 
Where'd the other one go? Chat, how do I lose one? Oh, there he is. Ah, oh, there was a bug around here. I can't see it, but I keep hearing it. Ah. Oh, I'm an evil prairie goblin. And I'm gonna get you. Oh, I help, 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 help. There we go. And done. Well, Albie, you got them all. And in good time, too. I owe you one, Luke. That's good to hear, actually, because... Sissy, I want more ice cream. Xander, shush. I'm in character right now. What did I promise about ice cream? All right. Oops. Yeah, Moo. Thanks for catching us, Moo. <laughs> sure. So anyway, Avery is... I still haven't found the bug. Did you check your nose? That's where mine was. Wait, what? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Excuse me, all of you. Luke is talking right now. Let's be respectful. Chat, did you check your nose for the bugs? Make sure you check your nose, okay? Your cattle sure are a handful, huh? Yeah, I love them, but just can't help it. Uh, okay, so the thing is... I hear ya. Avery's got some crazy scheme to get the game back together at the amphitheater. I don't buy it, but I owe you, so I'll be up there as soon as I can control this lot. Oh, yes, awesome. I'll see you there. I don't want bugs in my nose, neither do I. I do, however, just want to keep this bucket on my head, so I'm going to keep this bucket on my head. Oh. Wait, that's you. I reckon- oh, yeah. <laughs> I thought that was the vampire one. <laughs> Oh, this might be something over here. I don't think these were here before. No mortals allowed. I am not mortal. Where are you? Oh, there's like signs everywhere. Oh, there you are. A very cute bucket. Thank you. Ah, uh, mortal bumbles into my dark domain. You did not heed the posted warnings and now you will pay dearly. I am the hero of legend. No evil monster can defeat me. Defeat you? After your awful take on vampires, you're not worth the effort. Now your punishment will be the icy sting of my cold shoulder. Oh, that's it? Huh? Okay. Ouch. I guess that shoulder sure was cold. Wait, I forgot. I do have something important to tell you. Time out for a second. Huh. No, really. It's a message from Avery. They want you to come uh, see something cool and vampire-y at the amphitheater. Oh, and you aren't cold shouldering Avery too, are you? Hmph. <laughs> okay, okay. If you come back, I'll be a vampire too. We can do vampire stuff. As if I would grant you the honor. You aren't worthy of the vampiric mantle. I can be worthy. How do I be worthy? A fine question. What could you possibly offer me an immortal being of the night? Who thirsts only for evil and desires only darkness? Is this handsome? <laughs> it would take an offering of nothing less than... <gasps> Ice cream! The cheese sandwich, though. Welcome back, Matilda. Ice cream? The ice cream cart is here! Forget everything I said. If you bring me a cone of my favorite sorbet, I will consider it a fitting apology. Really? I'll just bring you ice cream from right over there. So tantalizingly close, isn't it? But alas, it is guarded by the sun, my immortal enemy. Say, fellas, has someone mentioned the door to darkness? <laughs> I plead with the vendor in the past to join me in the shade, but to no avail. Like, come on, it's one measly river to cross. Your cart can't be that heavy. Mortals sometimes. So yeah, this cave has many amenities, but ice cream is not one of them. Bring me some and we shall discuss your request for immortality. Got you. This man's gonna like book it the second I get close. Oh, joy, a customer. And you're friends with that little girl in the cave. It's my lucky day. That's right! I'd like one ice cream, please. Sure, it's three bucks. Only three? That's a great deal! Here you are, my good vendor. What is this? It's loot from Quest. This is a torn up takeout bag. I can see the grease on this scrap. I need real paper. I don't understand. You know, cash, dollars. It's three dollars. Okay, I hear what you're saying. I'll give you three hundred of my loot for the cone. So the entire greasy takeout bag? No. I don't think my boss would appreciate that. Listen, if you don't have real money, I gotta get going. Um, hold on for just a second. Fly me. Hey, Esme, slight problem. Ice cream person isn't playing. They want three real dollars. 
Oh, you see what I mean about that one? So needy. Do you have any adult money? I only have 50 cents. Wait, no, 55. I have 40, so almost a dollar between us. Hang on, I might know who has some more. <laughs> Jill has joined the chat. Hi, Jill. Hi, Scales. Hi, Jill. I'm Esme. Hello, Esme. Nice to meet you. Hi. <laughs> Jill, you usually have some money on you, right? Uh, yes, Heroic Traveler. I have plenty of materials and would be happy to trade. No, sorry, like actual dollars. I'm on a quest to buy ice cream. Oh, yes, I actually have $10 in case of emergencies. That's more than enough. Unfortunately, most of that is circulating through Jean's gig economy at the moment. Oh, what? I still have $2 I can lend you. Thank you, but we're still five cents short. Sad face. <laughs> this is precious. It's okay, I've got one more person to ask. Big Sis has joined the chat. Hey, Sis. Hey. Hi, Big Sis. Hello, Jill. Hi, Luke's Big Sis. Hello, number I don't recognize. Luke, what's going on? Would it be possible to borrow some money? I want to buy an ice cream for my friend. We just need five more cents. You want me to wire you a nickel? Yes, please. Um, are you still there? <laughs> Sorry, had to catch my breath. <laughs> I just sent you six dollars. Get yourself one, too. <gasps> Thank you. You're welcome. Don't eat it too fast. Will do. Thanks, everyone. Bye. See you later. I do have other stops to make, you know. You'll be glad you waited because I would now like two ice creams. Big sis coming in clutch. I have six dollars right here on my phone. It's not cash? Oh, if you wait for another minute, I can go run and... No, it's fine. I'm sure I have an app or something. Here, send it to this account. Done. Great. What flavor do you want? Sorbet, please. What kind of sorbet? There's more than one? Yeah, sorbet is just different kinds of goop on ice. Um... This is for the cave girl, right? She always gets the same thing. I'll make two of those, okay? Oh, yes, two of those. For a second, I thought this request was going to get even more bloated. <laughs> what is that? Never mind. Ugh, scooping this one always makes me gag. Here, I'm leaving now. Enjoy. What kind is it? I got the vampire ice cream. It's red. This isn't the flavor I think it is, is it? I sure hope she isn't committing to the bit that hard. Ew. Here's your ice cream! Oh, a mortal one? Yes! <laughs> Indeed, I accept this treat in the great lengths you went to acquire it. Your past transgressions are pardoned, and I shall grant thy request. Prepare thyself. Here, put these on. Oh, cool, thanks! Oh! Wow, look at me! Now I'm a vampire too! Come, sibling of the night, let us feast on the icy cream of your labor. Oh, right. You've barely touched your ice cream, my pupil. Something trouble you? No, it... What flavor did you say this was again? Only the darkest flavor for the darkest and thirstiest of monsters. Black cherry. <laughs> oh, yum! <laughs> I'm done. Ready to go meet Avery at the amphitheater? Foolish, Lunk. Never agreed to return with you. What but the ice cream? Set the mantle willingly, now we are both bound to darkness. do you want to see whatever it is they're planning? Yeah, kinda. But as the vampiric curse, the desire for that which is just out of reach. Alas, all we can do is wait for another mortal to wander by to do our bidding. Oh, right. Stay in the cave forever. <laughs> well, it was a nice game. It was a nice game. Unfortunately, this is apparently the farthest we can go. No, don't leave the cave. Vampires can't go out in sunlight. But I really want to. As do I, yet we mustn't, for it would break continuity. <laughs> Bye, Rebecca. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, so if there was a good lore reason we could leave? I suppose so. In that case, I have a solution that makes sense. Uh, sunscreen. I have some sunscreen from home? It's SPF 50,000. 50,000. I'm invincible. 
Okay, sure. Let me get some of that, too. People, you have opened my eyes. I only hope everyone else can accept my ways as you have. Yeah, vampire stuff is kind of fun and tasty. As a token of my gratitude, I will not use my unbound power to lay waste to this world. I appreciate it. Be back up the mountain, defiantly facing the brightest ray of sunlight I can find. Farewell. There we go. Uh, there's someone up there, but they're not part of the... part of this group. I don't know where the last person went. Also, where's my bucket? This is unacceptable. Also, I can now go ahead and buy these, so I'm going to. There we go, but I'm gonna keep the bucket. <laughs> So the others all had, like, really obvious drawings near them. Maybe this is it? Here we go. Space. Ah, it's you again, Green Monks. You finally realize the superiority of the sci-fi setting. Sure, yeah, space is totally better than high fantasy, I've decided. More importantly, Avery wants to show you a really cool science thing back at the amphitheater. Intriguing, but you couldn't have come at a worse time. Or deep in animated territory surrounded by space monsters. Oh, that's fine. I fight all sorts of monsters. Space ones should be no problem. So sure of yourself, and you don't even have a blaster. Come to think of it, you don't have a protective suit either. How do you survive the vacuum of space? Uh, magic? My cool fancy spells protect me from vacuums or whatever. Magic, the technology to surpass the Space Federation. Sounds too good to be true. I smell a space monster lie. Could it be that you're native to this strange planet? But that could only mean... Ah, you've led them right to me. What a cunning ruse. Whoa, no, I'm not with them. Oh, the tables, chat. They are turning. Just like that guy's chess table earlier. And if they do kind of look like me. That's weird. If you're true to your word, then help me dispatch these monsters. I'll lay down covering fire from here. I'm on it. I'm on it. Screw these monsters that kind of look like me a little bit. How the turns have tabled. <laughs> there you go. Impressive, green one. Apologies for doubting your ludicrous notions of space magic. It's okay. After all, magic is just like science we don't understand, right? We can discuss such preposterous notions later, wizard. There's still danger afoot. So quickly take this. <gasps> I got a blaster. It's a foam dart plaster, the ideal tool for losing foam darts. Space aliens rarely travel to such in such small packs. It's only a matter of time until... Yeah, another wave quickly wizard blasts them all. Pew pew. <laughs> Alright, oh god. I will if I'm not falling off. Oh, this is fun. Oh, there's like a little bit of a arch to it. There we go. This battle's nearly won, wizard, but whoa, we have awakened the most fearsome foe. The mothership. That's actually really cool. <laughs> what the heck? Where did that even... There's no time. We must dispatch her before she summons an entire army. Just, just don't mind me. How is this thing still staying up? Oh, there we go. <laughs> I must say, I never expected to feed an alien horde. I just realized, am I dripping because the bucket on my head? It's just, I was wondering why I've been dripping this entire time. <laughs> I must say, I never expected to feed an alien horde side by side with the magician. I mean, either. Maybe an alien invasion in Fancyland could be fun after all. I suppose I could bind my creativity to just one planet for the sake of my peers. In the meantime, I'll return to home base to con sort with Avery on their discovery. Just how cool your drip is. I see what you did there. Until we meet again, may you outpace the light that guides you, wizard. And may all your wildest dreams come true, spaceman. I got, I got a lightsaber. <laughs> it's behind my head. Bear with. All right, everyone should be back at the amphitheater. Time to go see Avery's big plan. I got a laser sword. Heck yeah, give me that. It's cool as heck. That's 
what the cool kids say, right? Absolutely random, you know it. I did it! I don't care what works in your canon, there's no such thing as SBF 5,000 or 50,000. Makes perfect sense. Even if Science Boy decides it works, it sure as heck won't fly on a farm. You should worry about what does fly on a farm. They're a prime abduction target. He's threatening to abduct my kin. Huh? Not me, the aliens. Both haven't changed a bit. Um, Avery? Now might be a good time to tell everyone your idea. Really, you think so? All right. All right, everyone, here's my biggest idea yet. What if we all took, sorry, if we took all the slimes and put hats on them? Avery, the other idea. <laughs> huh? The one that's supposed to make everyone work together? Oh, right, that idea. The idea that will make spacefarers, cowfolk, and vampire all come together as one. Ooh. This ought to be good. I think that we should all get together and open a restaurant. <laughs> a space restaurant? No, Andromeda, not a space restaurant. Avery, I'm confused. What does a restaurant have to do with vampires? Or frontier living? With a vast expanse just past this meager sky. Answered all of these questions is very simple. I forgot. What? Avery! Sorry, everyone. I couldn't stop thinking about slimes and hats. <laughs> Avery is a man of taste. Can you imagine one of the violet ones in a witch's cap or a blue one in Lola's top hat? So cute! Uh, maybe if I could just get another minute to think. I don't want to start a business with people who don't appreciate me. At least we can agree on that. Thanks for trying, Avery, but I ought to go get those rascals the treats I promised. Is this meeting adjourned? I have a field of asteroids that needs navigating. Hmm, there's an idea. Maybe I'll find a nice sunny asteroid field, too. You can't and you know it. Wait, um, don't go. I'm sure I'll remember. Maybe next time, Avery. Come on, Runs. Let's ride. No, no, no. I can't let them leave again. Um, hey, what about food? Uh, what about it? Restaurants need food. Farmers have food, right, Velma? That we do. And we need waiters to carry the food around. Tiny, energetic waiters. Okay, I see where you're headed. And it's in space, right? Well, no, it's probably not in space. But we have to cook the food on something. Maybe some advanced technology? Of course, warp technology on an Earthbound planet will be unmatched in popularity. And half of a restaurant is ambience. You'll need an interior decorator and a charismatic hostess. Definitely. And after everything, I think all the stuff fits into a fantasy world after all. What do you say, Velma? Shall we combine forces to show some mystical patrons truly out of this world cuisine? Don't forget a truly villainous atmosphere. Well, I do have to get these kids their ice cream. But I can handle two more goofballs when I get back. I'm in. Hooray! I'll start making the menu. <laughs> I'll start folding napkins. I'll draft some blueprints. Great, let's split up and get started. I knew we could all get along eventually. Thanks for bringing everyone together, Luke. Sure, I'm glad you asked me to. Everyone's ideas turned out to be a lot of fun. Didn't I tell you they were creative? So about the playground? We'll definitely be there. I have so many great ideas, I can hardly stand it. I hope you're ready for all the drama you can handle. I hope so too. <laughs> there we go. There was everyone. Oh, they even have fancy lights up here? Heck yes. Lunch by compromise is the achievement we just unlocked. And you know what? I'm gonna glide down right from here. I like how our feet go. <laughs> Is this the restaurant? Or is this going to be the restaurant? Where? We? Oh, yes it is. There we go. Hero? Oh, hero, thank the stars. You have finally reached your journey's end. Let us dance and be merry. Huh? Avery, no, we still have to impress Big Sis. Oh, yeah. Hero, oh, hero, there is so much left to do. We're going to need everyone's help to impress your sis. <laughs> Luckily, I have the perfect idea that will give everyone a chance to shine. Okay, I needed 10 people. We have 19, so we're good. <laughs> Juice bar order here. Well, I'm out of ideas. 
Oh, uh, do you think that'd be good enough? Everyone sure looks like they're having fun. I think we did a okay. Yeah, you're right. We gotta show sis we're having fun. I've cleared this building done. Hooray! That's the last building. Playground Town is officially finished. I guess that means it's almost time to show big sis. But, uh, I should tell my friends first. Yeah, let's check in with Jill, Martin, and Avery. 